Hi FlossTube! It's Carissa. This is my YouTube channel, K Threads and Stitches. Welcome back. If you're returning, if this is your first time, welcome. Um, thank you so much to everybody who keeps coming back and thank you to everyone who liked and commented on my last video. Um, and thank you to all my new subscribers for subscribing. Um, I hope that you like what I have for you today. I know it's been a while since I've been back. Um, I think my last video was back in February. Um, but I'm very excited to be back and having some things to show you guys. I've got some finishes, I've got some whips, um, and just some random things. And then I guess the patterns I got from Market. Um, and I'm actually going to be doing um, my first giveaway today. So, um, let's see, life updates. It, it's been a while since I've been back, so I'll probably forget a whole bunch of things. But um, my birthday was last Friday, so I turned 31 on the 18th. Um, my best friend came down with her boyfriend and we just hung out, we went out and, um, had a lot of fun when she was here. And, um, let's see, what else? That's like the biggest thing that's been going on. I, I can't really think of anything else at the moment, but, um, yeah, just getting through day to day, taking everything a day at a time, I guess. Um, but I have been doing um, quite a bit of stitching, so I guess I'll go ahead and jump right in. Um, I guess the first finish I'll show you guys is a piece that I had been working on since like, I think it's like December or something like that. And I know I mentioned in my last video, if you saw my last video, that I was thinking about actually just setting this to the side until Christmas time um, this year. but. I just sat down one weekend and I decided that I would, I guess, just power through it because I was so close to being done. Um, I really had a lot of the words in it. There was just a lot of like the um, other things around it that needed to be done. So this is Gingerbread Cookies by Stitching with the Housewives. So this is the one that I sat down and I finished. Um, and I did a really simple finish for this one. And I, I like the way that it came out. Um, so I wanted to be able to use this to swap it out. So I bought um, the pattern Carrot Cake um, once it came out on a PDF. And I wanted to be able to um, swap these out as we go. So I have these, um, like the pieces. So I've got the bow on a magnet. And this piece here is also on a magnet. Let me see if I can pull it off without tearing it up. <laughs> so I use um, name name tag magnets and they are much stronger than um, some of the magnets that I have found like at Hobby Lobby and stuff. So I always have issues with um, like my magnets or the washers falling off and I just finally found something that was a little bit sturdier. So. Um, I actually bought these name tag magnets off of Amazon. So as you can see, this is like a metal piece that's in the background. It sits on top of, and I just glued the, um, like the, the non-magnetized, um, metal plate onto these and then up here, one up here. So like on the back of my piece, don't judge me. It, it's going to look like a hot mess, but this is, um, like this is the actual magnet back here, but these are really strong. And I only need a couple of them for, you know, larger pieces. So this one's got a magnet on the back as well. Um, so I wanted to be able to swap it out once I got carrot cake done. I did buy the pattern. I have not finished it yet. Uh, or I haven't started it yet, sorry. I haven't even started it yet. Um, so, but I just wanted to be prepared, I guess, for whatever... I'm ready to do that because as soon as I finish that one, I'll probably go ahead and set it out. All right. Um, and I got that piece from Hobby Lobby. Let's see. I'll um, I'll look up the uh, um, like the the number for the piece if you're interested. Um, because I actually threw away the tag and I couldn't find it. I actually had somebody ask me about it when I posted it on Instagram. So the last time I was in Hobby Lobby, I actually found some and um, I took a picture of the tag. So I'll just put it in the notes below um, after the video. All right. Um, so the next finish I have 
is Home Sweet Home by Country Cottage Noodle Works. I really love this piece and the pink of this is so pretty. I love this a lot. And then I just used a bunch of tulips up here that I got from Hobby Lobby and these are two picks. I'm pretty sure I got these from Joann's whenever like they had like their Valentine's Day stuff out. I think these were um, a couple of the picks for that. Um, and this is actually a uh, I think it's like a serving tray or something. You can see it's got handles in the sides. Um, and this is from Hobby Lobby. And the number on the back for this is 5680442 um, for the tray if you're interested. So I think I got the smaller one. They have two sizes of this. They have a bigger one and a smaller one. And I think this one is actually the smaller one. Um, but let me let show you um, or tell you what I stitched this on. Give me one second. Oh, and for gingerbread cookies, um, I used all the called for colors um, and black jobling to stitch it on 28 count. Sorry, I'm looking through my notebook here trying to find the... Okay, here we go. <laughs> Sorry. So for this one, um, I stitched it on 28 count Lugana. Um, the color is called London Fog by Under the Sea. Um, and the colors that I used, I think I used a lot of the um, called for colors. I may have switched a couple. Um, so for DMC, I used number 676. Um, classic color work colors I used are Snowball, that's for the white. Um, Little Pink Peony, um, that's one of the pinks. I think that is the lighter pink maybe. Um, prickly Pear by Co color Classic Color Works. <laughs> um, I think that's the darker pink. Um, and then by Gentle Arts I use Chamomile and Tarnished Gold. And the Chamomile I think is the um, the green on this and then the Tarnished Gold is the um, brownish looking color. But I was really happy with how this turned out and I really love that darker pink. Um, I like the variegation that I got out of it. So, I love this. Oh, and I used, um, Lori Holt fabrics for the two, um, fabrics behind it. I don't remember what they're called. I'll have to look and see, but I bought those. I bought, um, like the, uh, fat quarter bundle of all the different colors on Etsy. So, I'll go back and look for that and then, um, link it in the in the notes afterwards um so my next finish so these kind of go together um i did these here so this is i forget what the name of this this was oh this is kind words this is kind words by um primrose cottage stitches so the model I think was stitched on like a white fabric and I actually use Country French Rain 28 count linen um, and I really love this color for this. I actually used my own colors but I did try to keep them um, very close to what the original colors were because I, I really like the original colors as well. Um, so I actually used um, instead of DMC 645, I used Zach Black by Classic Color Works. Um, instead of DMC 729, I used um, Classic Color Works Honeycomb. And then instead of DMC 782, I used Classic Color Works Yield Gold. And instead of DMC 3813, I used Victoria Motto Friendship Garden. So that's actually this blue color right here. It's a really um, light blue. Um, and then instead of DMC 3820, I use Classic Colorworks Finley Gold. But I was really happy with how this turned out. This design is so cute. I love it. Um, and I used a pillow tutorial. Um, I watched um, Java Girl Stitches. She has a pillow tutorial on her, um, on her channel that I 
watch to do this. And I got a couple of fabrics, so this white fabric and this fabric over here, which is also the backing fabric, um, I got these from Joann's. And then I also put a couple of little bows on there with a little B button. And I got the B button from Joann's as well. I'm trying to think. I think I got these ribbons from Joann's as well. So, um, And then I bought some charms from Amazon. And I just got some gold safety pins. And I just decided for my pillow finishes, I'll probably just pin a little... 2022 charm. I haven't quite figured out what I want to do for like my my flat finishes um, in terms of tagging those somehow, but I really love this. All right, and then so I also did Bumblebee Kisses by Primrose Cottage Stitches. So I used the same colors um, for this as I did for um, Kind Words, and I used the same fabric as well. So, and then up at the top, I did another little bow and a little B button. And, give me one second. I'm trying to get my life together here. Okay. And then for the back, this is also fabric that I got from Joann's. I thought this was really cute um, B fabric. And then another one of those little 2022 charms. But I really love these. So I actually, I showed a bench on my last video that I got from Hobby Lobby that's from the spring shop it's really cute so I set those on there with a couple or with a like some white um, tear tray beads or whatever and like a little greenery garland thing that I wrap around it so um, and then next thing that I finished was um, this is, I'm sorry y'all, I'm flipping through my notebook. I got a, um, I, so I bought one of these uh, cross stitch journals by It's So Emma um, that I got from Stony Creek. I know that Fat Quarter Shop I think also sells them, um, but it, it's so much easier for me to keep up with everything that I've that I've been stitching so I don't really um, keep keep count of like my time that I do that's a little tedious for me I, I, I will forget and I will never I'll, I'll, I'll always forget to add something so I just write down my colors you know what it is what I used and then um, I start and my finish date pretty much um, but for my next finish I did strawberry patch by Cherry Hill Stitchery um, and I finished this on a was this a cutting board um, from the spring shop I believe and these are not very expensive because I'm pretty sure they're like 40% off or something already they're definitely on sale um, and for this I used 32 count Lugana vintage country mocha um, and I used I'm pretty sure I used most of the called for colors. So Weak Style Works Louisiana Hot Sauce for the red, um, Weak Style Works Onyx for the black. Um, the white is probably the only thing that I changed. I use Classic Color Works Snowball um, and then Classic Color Works Steamed Broccoli and then DMC 729. Those are the colors that I used for this. And then I added a couple of little bows up here at the top with a little um, sunflower so I bought some sunflower picks from um, Hobby Lobby and I really just kind of picked one of the sunflowers off the top and just stuck it right there on that on that and I thought that was really cute and I just set this in a black easel that I have um, sitting on like a little dresser that I use in my um, upstairs loft area so but I was really happy with this she also has a pattern that's like it's a couple of houses it's like a couple of red houses that goes with this and I, I haven't um, written it down yet to get that started but I was I would like to do that at some point um, maybe not this year maybe next year or something but I really like how that one turned out um, so sorry I gotta get up I got everything like super far away from me I had to pull out a whole other table and everything so my next finish 
is um, this is Coffee First by Brenda Gervais. I really love this um, this pattern. I think it's so cute. And I finished this on one of these um, what is this like a like a little chair bench thing from the Target Dollar Spot. So Java Girl Stitches in one of her more recent videos she um, showed this and I went and got one. And she also mentioned that you could probably put a finish on the back and then put some things down here um, and that's what I did. So um, I'm really happy with how it turned out. I really just took a bunch of random flowers and stuff and just kind of stuck them along along the bottom and the back is not very pretty because you can see like all where I hot glued everything but um, on the front it looks nice but I, I bump it up against the wall so you can't see the back. And then I finally got like a little button maker thing um, so I um, made a little button out of the same Lori Holt fabric that I used back here so I used the brown and then the white with the um, brown X's on there. but. I really love this design. So I stitched this on um, 28 count linen uh, and this is the color Mayflower by Fox and Rabbit. So and then I think I tried to use most of the called for colors so I used DMC 356, 754, 838, and 3830. Um, I could not for the life of me <laughs> find any brethren blue anywhere so what I did was I think I was watching maybe it was um, Chantel's 141 um, and she showed a color um, classic color works blue corn and I was like oh that looks like a really pretty blue so I, I bought some of that and that's what I used for the blue down here um, on her skirt for that. So instead of Brother in Blue, I used Blue Corn because I could not find Brother in Blue anywhere. Um, and then I used Gentle Arts Mountain Mist, Wood Trail, and Endive. Those were all called for. Um, I used Classic Colorworks Straw Hat and um, Classic Colorworks Snowball for the white. I like Snowball because it's like a, it's like super bright white. Um, and it, I thought it looked really nice with this color fabric. So, but that's that's Coffee First by Brenda Gervais. This one was actually pretty quick. Um, stitching the cup was a little bit of a challenge, and I actually didn't um, like where the red lines are here and here. So I actually, it's just one long piece of um, thread, and I think it was supposed to be back stitched like each each. Um, each stitch but I just decided to do it one long thread and I, I'm pretty happy with how it turned out as long as I don't touch it I think it'll be okay <laughs> and the, hopefully the thread won't stretch or become droopy or anything so but that is that finish and then I've only got two more um, and then I'll go into what whips I got going on so my next finish, I'm doing these, um, I have three, well I have two, um, and I'm working on the third one and I'll show you kind of what I'm using to um, set these on. So this is Tulip Bunches by Stitching with the Housewives. Um, this is so cute. I really wanted to stitch these and I kind of set aside my um, projects that I was currently working on to kind of work on something a little bit smaller. I've noticed that I've been working on larger pieces that take me a little bit longer, which is why when I come back in five to six weeks, I've only got three or four finishes because the things I work on are a little bit bigger. So I really kind of wanted to work on some things that were um, some quick satisfaction, you know, um, pieces. And these were kind of it for the Dapper Do Dads. And I finished this on some pieces that I got from Hobby Lobby. Um, so they're a little deep set like in here. I didn't even have to like glue this inner piece that's the pink fabric. I just cut it to size and then it it, um, it just fits in there and it doesn't move. So, And then I just grabbed a couple of little tulips off of some picks. I um, cut those off, 
glued them to the top. This was also on another pick. I'm trying to think of where I got those from. Sad part is I just got them recently and I, I literally can't remember which store I got it from. But so this one as well and then on the top because I hot glued up on the top so it would have looked a little crazy. Um, I put a little bow and um, a little ladybug button. So I finished all three of these the same. Well, I have one ready for when I finish stitching the last one. But, And I used all the called for colors um, and everything on this. And the piece, um, the number on this piece is five eight nine five five eight six. So originally this is eight ninety nine. Obviously, um, I got it when um, the table decor was on sale, so I didn't pay that much. I think I forget if it's forty or fifty percent off. I think they're fifty percent off whenever they do those sales, but um, not too expensive for that. And then the next one I did was snowed in bloom by stitching with the housewives. So like I said, I finished it exactly the same way. Um, the top looks the same and everything with the little ladybug and everything. I really love these. I think these are so cute. So there's that one. And as you can see, I've got the third one all, all ready to go. Um, I just need to finish it. The other one that I'm working on is a uh, tulip farm. So I will have these sitting on a, a plant stand. Let me see if I can do this without... I knew it was gonna happen okay give me a second <laughs> um, I was trying to move everything without it falling but oh it's gonna be really difficult so I got this plant stand from Michaels um, and I actually bought a second one the other day because I really like how this turned out in terms of being able to set things on this so it's it's kind of I don't know if you would call it tiered, maybe tiered in a way. Um, and I plan on setting all three of these on this um, so that you can see them all. Let me see if I can get this in here. So the way that it sets, you can see all three of them. You know what I mean? So when I get done with Tulip Farm, I'll add that in there and then I'll have all three kind of sitting like that. Um, and I really, I really like this thing. So I bought another one so that especially like at Christmas time, cause I can use this plant stand. I can just swap out my stuff um, for other things as well. So let me try not to throw everything all over the floor again. Okay. So, and I think that is all of my finishes. Um, I guess I'll show you some pieces that I've kind of found that I haven't really used yet, but I plan to. Um, this is a little, a cute little stool. I don't know if I showed this in my last one. This is from the spring shop over in Hobby Lobby. I thought this would be really cute to set a finish on and maybe um, somehow put some flowers around it somehow, I don't know. But I got that. And then I showed this on my Instagram stories. This is a little, a little Winnie the Pooh honey jar. Look how cute that is. I love this. I think it's so cute. I got this from um, Marshalls, my local Marshalls in, in Charleston, and I thought it was so cute. So I have this sitting um, in front of my little bench with those Primrose Cottage Stitches, um, the kind words and um, bumblebee kisses to kind of go with this. I thought it was so cute. And then I also got a little chair this thing is so little I this would be really cute to put like a little pillow in so like I don't have I'm not gonna set this one in there but if I whenever I make another one I might set a pillow in there just to kind of prop it up but I thought this was super cute and they actually had a red one and then they had some round looking chairs that were white um, and I, I had another color but I can't remember what the other color was for the round chair but this was super cute at Michaels so and these were 40% off, I believe. I thought it was so cute. And this, this is probably my favorite thing. I've stuck flowers in this because I have this sitting next to that tiered thing with um, the stitching with the housewives um, pieces in it. 
So this is a little wheelbarrow that I got from Hobby Lobby. This is also part of the spring shop, so it's 40% off. <clears throat> I don't have the tag for it. If I can find the number, I'll put it, I'll link it down below. Um, but I thought this was super cute just to put some flowers in and maybe if I ever feel like it one day, I could even put a finish over here on the side. So, um, I really like this. I think this is so cute. They still had a couple left the last time that I went to Hobby Lobby. And I already showed you the little tiered thing. And the last thing that I wanted to show you guys was I found this little door, um, at Hobby Lobby. This is also part of the spring shop. It's 40% off. I really like little doors. I had a red door that I finished uh, stitching with the Housewives piece on last year for Christmas. And when I saw this one at Hobby Lobby, I was like, oh, that's so cute. This would be really cute with like a summer finish on it, I think, down here on the bottom. And it's already got a wreath and everything, so I probably wouldn't add too, too much to this if I wanted to embellish it a little bit more. But even the handle, I really like that. I think it's so cute. So... All right, so I'm sorry if I'm talking super fast. My videos get my videos always cut off at like 29 minutes because I don't have like an actual like video camera. I have like just a regular photo taking camera, and I've come to find out that it can't record more than 29 minutes at a time. Also, I've been gone for so long and I have so many things to show, so I just kind of want to get through it quickly without um, keeping you guys. Uh, here for too too long um so I guess um I'll tell you what market pieces I purchased um so I bought Hive Rules by Primrose Cottage Stitches and I actually went and bought this in a PDF as soon as I found out that they were coming out with this as a PDF um, because like I, I, if you've been here before here I've talked about I like to stitch from my iPad so when I can get PDFs I will buy PDFs versus paper patterns um, <clears throat> it really helps for me to be able to zoom in and kind of stay focused on what I'm what I'm stitching what area I'm stitching so <clears throat> Um, so I got Hive Rules. I really like this. This is so cute. And I've actually started this. And I'll show you my little start that I have of this. Um, where's it at? So I started this. And I'm using all the called for colors on this. Um, this is my little start. I actually had to rip out half of the H because I had one too many stitches. It is not a real cross stitch piece for me unless I've messed something up somewhere. Um, so, and then what I'm using for this one, let me find it in my little handy dandy notebook. Um, so I'm stitching this on 32 count Lugana. Um, the color is Clouds and Shadow by X Jude Design. Um, and I've already cut the piece. It's a little bit longer than what it should be, but it's definitely um, the width that I wanted it to be. So I've started just that very first, um, that very first block. And I'm gonna do mine as all one piece. So, um, and I, like I said, I'm using all the called for colors. So this is, that was a hot mess. Okay, there we go. These are all the called for colors. I really love these colors. I think they're beautiful. These have a, um, a few more colors than, um, the kind words and the summer wishes um, patterns that I showed you earlier or the pieces that I showed you earlier but um, I really like the colors I think they're very pretty okay so and for the hive rules I actually have a new project bag project bag <laughs> that I got this is from Pam's needle and thread this is so cute it's got little bees and little beehives on it um, and little quilting lines. Don't mind it being a little bit bent. But um, that's just because I've been using it. But I love this project bag. I've actually bought a couple of um, new project bags from her. I'll, I'll show them as I show you my whips because I'm currently using them. But um, 
Yes, so that was Hive Rules. I really love that market piece. I think that might be one of my favorites. Um, now I also, from Primrose Cottage Stitches, got the ABC pattern. So I haven't repurchased this one just yet in a PDF, but I will. Um, so I haven't started that one either. Um, obviously because I haven't repurchased the pattern yet but um, those were two of my market purchases and then I also bought um, so this is and I have this one kitted up I haven't started it yet give me a second let me try to pull it out of here oh my goodness it's stuck to the vinyl okay there we go this is Bumblebees and Flowers Please by Cherry Hill Stitchery. I really love this. I think it's super cute. And it doesn't look like it's going to take a, a super long time to do it. Um, so the colors that I plan on using for this. Let's see. Yeah, so I switched out all of the colors almost. Um, I'm going to be using um, Classic Colorworks Black Coffee for the black. Um, Classic Colorworks Eve's Leaves for one of the greens. Um, Classic Colorworks Roasted Chestnut. Classic Colorworks Sunflower. I really love this color. I, I recently found out about this color from another pattern that I bought that's kitted up that I'm going to show you. Um, but it, I really like that color. Um, Classic Colorworks Grasshopper. Classic Colorworks Sassy Brass. And Weeks Dye Works Seagull. So I really like these colors. Um, again, I tried to keep them as close to the colors as possible. And honestly, I ended up picking these types of colors because I don't have all of the DMC. <clears throat> um, so I just kind of picked things that I had in my stash and tried to find things that were close enough. So, um, And I wrote this one in my book because I want to be able to start it sometime soon. And I wanted to stitch this on, so I've already picked out my fabric. <clears throat> Give me a second. Sorry. <laughs> um, I wanted to stitch this on 32 Count Lugana Beige Gray by X Jude Design. Um, I really like this color. This is kind of a light, like a light neutral brown color. Um, and I think this will look really nice. I think in the photo she uses, or on her model, she uses, let's see, um, 32 count vintage smoky white Belfast linen. So, but I think that this, this is a really soft, like, light tan color. So I think it'll look nice on this. Um, and I'm using one of my Dot Dot Goose design bags for this. I think this is one of my newer ones. I don't know if I showed this in my last video. So that is my next market purchase that I got. Um, please bear with me. I'm trying to put everything back in the bag as I go. Alright. So that is that one. And then I also got... This one I'm really excited about. Um... This is Hands on Design Season 2 A Year of Celebrations Continues. I was really excited about this. I think when I saw this one come up I went and bought it um, pretty quickly. Um, so I've actually already um, purchased all the colors for this <clears throat> um, and I'm using all of the called for colors except the white. Um, and I honestly am still choosing what white I'm going to use because um, I'm going to stitch mine on. I don't have this color fabric because um, in the model she uses um, 32 count driftwood by Fabrics by Stephanie. And I really didn't, um, <clears throat> I didn't have that and I didn't want to have to wait for the fabric so... I just decided that I would use something from my stash and I actually wanted to use um, Duxbury by Fox and Rabbit but I don't have enough of it to do all 12. I plan to do all 12 separately um, on a piece that I can switch it out um, but I've already bought all the flosses like I said. Um, 
These are all very pretty colors. I love these. And then I've got two whites here. So I have Snowball and then I have Weeks Dye Works White Wash. So the reason why I have not chosen a white yet is because I plan to stitch this on 28 count um, Mushroom Lugana. Um, this is also another really light like tan um, color and I stitched um, Have a Cup of Cheer by Cherry Hill Stitchery on this and the white that I used I believe I used I either used Toasted Marshmallow or Snowball. I feel like I used Snowball and it, it didn't show up as well on this so I was going to try to maybe use if it didn't look good when I initially started stitching with it I would take it I plan on taking it out um, and trying the white wash because the white wash is a little more um, it's not like a, a bright white so I, I wonder if it might show up a little better for <clears throat> the parts of the white on there so that was my next market purchase and this is another bag that I got from Pam's Needle and Thread on Etsy um, this is so cute and I, I love the, the blue flowers and the gray. So that's where I've been putting um, this project in. So obviously I haven't started this one yet. I would like to start it. I have lots of things. There's something. There's been something changing in me for um, cross stitch. I'm, traditionally I am like a monogamous stitcher. Um, but I've really found myself really wanting to start different things. Um, because I get kind of... Um, I don't want to say bored with the projects, but kind of <clears throat> maybe burnt out on some projects that I want to try to stitch um, a couple of different things to maybe help keep me happy with stitching, I guess. <laughs> um, okay, so for my next market purchase, um, I got... The Home of the Brave by Cherry Hill Stitchery and I actually wanted to get the other one by her um, that was a patriotic but I couldn't find it yet. I purchased it too late. <laughs> so um, and then I also got Oh Hello Spring. I don't know if this was a, a market release or not but I did get this one in the mail yesterday. I was really excited about it. I really want to start this. Um, I honestly plan on kidding that up pretty quickly and starting it so that I can get that up because I have a basket. I don't have the same basket that um, Priscilla and Chelsea have that they use for that. I bought a different one because I couldn't find that one. But I haven't had anything on it because I've only stitched up the October um, back up the truck. So. I want to stitch that one so I can get that one out and um, set it out with my display. And then I also got Jingle Bell Cafe by Stitching with the Housewives. I love this. I've actually already started this one. Um, it's not a big start, but I have a small start. Using all the called for colors. Actually, let me fold this in half so you don't have to see through it. So. I've already kind of got like the top border done and starting on the um, word jingle. So call for um, flosses and using um, black Joe Bloom um, by Witchell. So I started that one and I think, I think that might be it for the um, market purchases. I think that is it. But, so I do love that one. Um, and then for the rest of my whips, um, like I said, I wanted to work on Tulip Farm by Stitching with the Housewives. Um, so that is kind of my start on Tulip Farm. These stitch up so quickly. I mean, I could, I could probably have this done within the next couple of days if I um, worked on this one. I was so tired last night. I was going to work on something last night and I was I was so exhausted yesterday. I just did not have the energy to um, 
do anything when I got home. I took an hour nap, woke up. I felt just as tired as I did when I, when I fell asleep. Um, and then I still felt extremely exhausted this morning when I woke up. So, um, I didn't do any stitching yesterday, but after this video, once I get it all uploaded and everything, I'll probably sit down and do some stitching. Um, the next um, whip that I have, this is Our Love Nest by Country Cottage Needleworks. I've really been loving um, working on Country Cottage Needleworks pieces. Um, I love all the houses. I don't, I don't think I ever realized that I would love stitching houses as much as I do, but I love these designs. Um, so... This is my start on this. I don't have too, too much, but I have some. And I really, I really love this pattern. Um, and I am using, I'm stitching this on. Um, this is 28 count Lugana, um, the color Mint by Picture This Plus. I really wanted to stitch this on a blue because I thought the pink would really pop on like a blue or minty color so that's why I chose this color. Um, and the colors that I'm using for this is Weeks Dye Works Mocha, Gentle Arts um, Shutter Green. I replaced, um, so I replaced, originally the green is supposed to be Poblano Pepper by Classic Color Works and I actually love that green. But that green blended in with this fabric color so I had to pick a different green that would show up. Um, so I used um, Gentle Arts Shutter Green, um, and then Classic Colorworks Blushing Blue Beauty for the pink, um, Classic Colorworks Snowball for the white, um, and then I'm using DMC 742, 3031, 435, and 3345. I really tried to stay with the same colors that um, the pattern calls for for this one. So these are all the colors. I really like these. So that is one of my whips. Um, and I've got this in my dot dot goose design bag. I really love this one. I'm not really like a yellow person, but this bag is so cute. I, lo I love the um, I love the sunflower fabric, and I think the yellow polka dot fabric really complements it well. Um, and then, okay, so I must not have any more like whips per se, but these are a couple that I have, um, kitted up that I really want to do this, this next one I really, really want to start, but I've been making myself hold off because I've got other things that I need to finish or at least get a little bit further on because then I start getting stressed out if I, <laughs> I'm not, I'm not that far yet to where I feel like I can have, um, uh, too many things going at once so um, I'm sure that I'll probably get there I feel like I'm already working up to that because when I started it was like okay well I only want to stitch one thing at a time now I'm like oh it's okay to have a couple of things so it'll probably continue to grow as time goes on but um my next uh, whip or kitted up thing is sunflowers in summer by Country Cottage Needleworks I cannot tell you how much I love this piece this is so cute um, the little green house, the sunflowers, I love the saying, it says, over by the fence where the sunflowers grow, summer winds glide by and, and, as stalks sway to and fro. Um, but I really love this, I think it's super cute. Um, and for this one, so I've already cut out my piece. Um, I'm going to use 28 count Lugana um, and this is the color brown paper by x Design. So if you watched one of my previous videos, I stitched um, Best Time of the Year by Brenda Gervais um, on this color as well. So I really like this. It has a little bit of modeling in it. It's very pretty. It, it literally is like a brown paper bag color. So, and I think, uh, like, from the picture, it looks very similar to me, um, as what she used for the model, almost. And these are the colors that I'm going to be using. I don't remember if I 
switched any of the colors out. I probably switched one or two out because I tend to do that. But um, <clears throat> I'm using um, the colors Week Styleworks Hazelnut, Week Styleworks Chickpea, um, Week Styleworks um, Dried Sage, um, Gentle Arts Baby Spinach, Classic Colorworks Sunflower, Classic Colorworks Snowball, and Classic Colorworks Hickory Sticks. So I really love this green. This is Dried Sage. That is such a pretty um, light green. And then this is the pattern that I um, discovered the color Snow um, Sunflower by Classic Colorworks. I really like it. So that is my next kitted up piece. Um, I have this one in a bag that I made last year. So I have a few project bags that I made last year and uh, like a bunch of them came apart up here at the top because I didn't make sure that they were close enough together so that when I stitched the top that it would stay close. So <laughs> this is the only one I think that I have that's not falling apart. Um, I need a lot of practice on um, making my own project bags. but. And then I also have, I bought this from Starlight, yeah, Starlight Stinchi Stitching Company. I, I love this thing. This thing is so cool. Um, one of these little floss wallets. And I actually bought the pattern um, to try and make my own. I haven't got that far yet. Um, but I have that one in this bag for this project. All right. And then the last thing I have kitted up, this is... Um, seasonal Celebration Spring by Country Cottage Needleworks. So I really love this piece. I love all the bright colors and everything. Um, and I am going to stitch this on 32 Count Lugana, the color Swank by Fortnite. Um, and it's it's a it's a yellow color. I think I showed this fabric in one of my previous videos. Um, but it, it's got a little bit of modeling. It's very pretty. It's like a yellow color. Um, and then I did change some of the colors, if not a lot of them actually. Um, so I don't have any DMC in here and I think these, I want to say this one called for some DMC. It did, it, it called for all DMC, it, well most, most DMC. Um, so what I'm going to use is um, heirloom, Go heirloom Gold by The Gentle Art. Um, I'm also going to use Classic Colorworks Hickory Sticks. Um, Victorian Motto Winter Wheat. This is a really bright, pretty green. Um, the Gentle Art Spring Grass. I think that's the one. This is the only one that it called for that was not a DMC. Um, the Gentle Art Bubblegum, so I decided that I wanted to use this for, um, my bright pink. I don't know. My camera's not focusing. It's not liking the, um, floss right now. <laughs> um, and I'm using Classic Colorwork Sea Shelly for the bright, um, the lighter pink. Um, Weeks Dye Works Island Breeze. I, this is so pretty. I love that blue. And then I'm going to use um, Classic Colorworks Really Tealy. Um, Classic Colorworks Finley Gold for the yellow. Which I may... I don't, it, so when I hold this up to the fabric, because the fabric is yellow, it looks darker than the actual fabric itself. But I'll have to wait to see how it stitches up um, to see if it really pops on the, on the fabric. If it doesn't, I might have to switch that one out. Um, and then I've got Classic Colorworks Brown Sugar. Sorry guys, I can't hold this thing and show these at the same time apparently. Um, and Classic Colorworks Straw Hat. So those are all the colors that I plan on using for that one. Um, and then I've got this in my project bag by Fiddle Feathers. I don't know if I showed this one in one of my last videos, but I really like this black fabric. Alright, so that's um, all of my whips and or my kitted up um, things. And so I'll just show a couple of patterns that I've bought recently and then a couple of fabrics and then we'll move on to the giveaway and then that'll be it. 
Um, so some patterns that I bought recently was, um, and I don't know if this is a market piece or not, so correct me if I'm wrong. Um, this is Plum Street Sampler's um, My Garden House. I thought this was really pretty. I probably, I don't know if I'll finish it in a drum that looks very scary. Um, but I really like that. I think it's beautiful. And if I don't finish it in a drum, I'll obviously finish it in a long piece. Um, this is the Tea Box by Lucy Beam Love and Stitches. I really want to um, do this one for summer this year. This is one of my favorites. This is um, Ladybugs and Bumblebees by Country Cottage Needleworks. So on the picture on the front, it's really kind of hard to see what it says. So it says, the ladybugs and bumblebees do while away the hours by traveling through garden leaves and dancing in the flowers. Um, and I, I just really love this. I think this is so pretty. Um, and then I bought with this needle IV thread. So I saw Elizabeth Ann can stitch. She did one. Of, she did this, um, and I thought it was so cute. So and it came with the uh, the little charms. And then I've got this is another favorite. I really love this. This is so pretty. Um, Plum Street Samplers Harvest Keeper. Um, I'll actually wait. Oh, that's upside down. <laughs> Sorry. So this is what it looks like. Little beehives and a little acorns. That's so cute. I love this. Um, and then, so I think I actually saw this pattern. Um, this is um, Little House Needleworks Heart of America. This is a really cute patriotic piece. Um, so. I don't think I've ever talked about it, but the first floss tuber that I ever found on YouTube was um, Little Yellow House Crafts, Nell. Um, and I think that she stitched this because um, I was watching one of her recent videos where she um, showed like some of her previous, like all, her box of all her stitch pieces that haven't been finished. Um, and I think that was one of them, or maybe it was a previous finish or something, I don't remember. but. Mel was actually the first um, floss tuber that I found, and this has been several years ago. Um, I love her videos. I was so excited when she came back to YouTube recently because she had taken a little bit of a break. Um, she's she's one of my favorite um, floss tubers to watch. So um, my next pattern is hands on design. This is is it the whole name? This says, my needle and thread may never, may they never part. It's the key to unlock my stitcher's heart. I don't know if the pattern is, like the name is all of that. But I thought this was so cute. So that very top piece there. I love that. So, those are all the patterns. I know that's a lot less than what I normally show. Which I think is a good thing. <laughs> um... So I've got a few fabrics. I actually just bought these the other day and I thought I'd show them. I'll save the best or what my favorite for last. So I bought um, from Fire Properties. I got, um, that's my local needlework shop. I got 32 count linen. This is the color Milk and Honey. It's just a really light um, tan color. I, I love this. This is so pretty. And then I got 32 count linen. This is the color Silver Fox. I love this one too. I love all of these, but these are very pretty. Um, and then I bought 32 count linen in the color Wheat. So this has like some green modeling in it in some places. Oh, you can really see it over here. Um, but it's kind of like a orangey, orangish brown. Um, I wouldn't say it's orange, but it, it's got like a, it looks like an orange tint, but it is brown with some green modeling in it. And this one is 28 count linen in the color light turquoise. And this is by X Jude Design. I cannot tell you how much I love this blue. Um, when I saw this in my bag, when I picked it up, because I ordered it online, I usually order everything online and then just go pick it up. I was like, OMG, that is such a pretty blue color. It is so bright. Look at how bright and blue that is. This would have been perfect for um, 
that our love nest pattern if I would have had that originally I, I would have definitely stitched our love nest on that on that blue instead of the mint color but it was too late so <laughs> I'll save that for something else okay I'm gonna run out of time soon because my video is already cut off once um, and I don't want it to cut off again okay so um, I said that I had a giveaway so like I said I planned on I bought both of these and I planned on um, so I already bought the PDF of this one and I haven't bought the PDF of this one yet but I will um, and I haven't even started stitching this one yet obviously because I plan to buy the PDF so I wanted to instead of me keeping these um, you guys are so awesome y'all are so um, wonderful when you leave me comments I love reading the comments and being able to talk to you guys and um, comment back I really do try to comment back I don't always have the time but I do try to um, comment back and read everybody's comments um, but you guys are so awesome. The community is amazing. So, um, I wanted to give back by giving, um, away these two patterns. Um, so this is High Rules. This will be the first giveaway, giveaway number one. Um, rules of the giveaway. I've never done a giveaway before. Um, so, uh, I'll use a random comment picker. Don't say the words giveaway. Don't say the words free. Um, or anything like that and then um, I just want you to answer um, what is your uh, favorite piece that you're working on right now um, your favorite cross stitch piece and it doesn't even have to be a cross stitch piece it what is your favorite project that you're working on right now um, so and then you can in the comment um, just mention giveaway or not giveaway <laughs> Um, put the number of whichever one that you want. So this is number one. Like I said, don't say giveaway or free or anything like that. So this is Hive Rules by Primrose Cottage Stitches. So this will be giveaway number one. Um, and number two will be um, Primrose Cottage Stitches A, B, C. So again, just tell me um, what your favorite project that you're working on right now is, and then I'll um, uh, pick a winner and I'll announce it in my next video. Um, I will try to come back sooner than like five to six weeks so that I can give, give these to you guys, whoever the winners are, um, much sooner than like a month and a half. So if I have to make a separate video just announcing the winners, I may do that as well. So, um, But that's all I have for you today. Thank you for coming to watch. Um, I hope you enjoyed everything that I was able to show today. Uh, and hopefully I didn't talk too fast and talk too much. So <laughs> um, thank you, thank you, thank you so much again for coming to watch. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.